often people struggle with the idea of receiving things from the universe, almost like it's not for them. When people are very good givers and they like helping people, but they are not such good receivers. And if anyone can resonate with that message, it's almost like when the messenger is sent from the universe to divinely be present right in front of you, saying, hey, I will assist you, I will help you. You are saying, no, it's okay. I'll figure out myself. Almost like you saying to the universe, universe, I am separate to you. So you deal with your thing and I deal with mine. But instead, how about whether it be being worthy of love or being worthy of abundance or being worthy to become rich or wealthy? How about understanding it in a way that you are not calling upon something that is not already yours? Because if we are all in oneness, meaning we are connected with the trees and nature and everything that is beyond us and that is a part of us in unity, in love, in compassion, in kindness, in vibrational frequency as an energy source, then everything that comes our way or everything that is in future or everything that is channeled in a diff from a different dimension into this dimension is already a part of us. Because always understand, energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It can only be transferred. So every idea that you have, every calling that you've had, every desire that you've had is already done. It is only coming through you. So as you surrender your spirit and allow these energies to channelize through you, you become the universe. You become godly. And while this energy moves through you and you have this trust in knowing that everything that comes your way is for you and you open up your arms to receive, you know that you are only calling in something that does not question whether you're worthy or not, but is already yours. Consider your manifestations already done, already written, and be open and call it in to return to you. Thank you.